Good morning, NHS. Today is Thursday, October 15th, and it is an S3 day. The lunch today is the math potato bowl, and the word of the day is hypothesis, meaning a theory or guess. We got a great show lined up for you today, so sit back and relax because NHS update starts now. Welcome to the show. I'm Danny Sullivan. And I'm Sadie Kral. The following college will be visiting this week. Please see your guidance counselor for a pass. Um, Friday, UMass Dartmouth arrives at 1230. There will be a GCP meeting next Tuesday after school in the GSU Lecture Hall. New members are welcome. Follow at NHS Global Citizenship on Twitter for all updates and reminders. The, fir the first meeting club for a dance club will be today after school in the guidance conference room. Tickets are now on sale for the junior senior semi-formal for $55 each. See Mr. Sweeney in the Dean's Office for tickets. Life Touch will be having underclassmen pictures retakes for students and staff this Friday in the library. Next up, we have a story that focuses on Dr. Crowley's invent team. Here's Brian Cur Brendan Hurley and Jared Gitgano with more. The MIT invent team um, project, or a competition if you will, it's designed to encourage invention. And um, so they encourage students from all over America, high school students from all over America, encouraged to submit ideas. The idea has to be unique, and it also, most importantly, has to solve a real-world problem. Such a problem was experienced last winter. There was the big snowstorm last winter. We noticed that there were 10-foot snow drifts on top of the library. In order to remove the snow, usually you need like manpower, which would require people to come on the roof during the winter when it's uh, snowing and it's cold and they have to remove the snow by hand and it's really dangerous because of course there's snow on the roof. What they came up with was an easy solution. We thought about an awning that would connect to the top of the roof all the way down and just provide another way for the snow to slide off so it wouldn't just stick on top of there on top of the library roof. The new Norwood High School faces east. During the winter in New England, the prevailing wind blows mainly out of the west. So what happens is the wind moves across Highland Cemetery. It goes up and then it rides along the roof of Norwood High School and then there's a dip right, right outside here. Well that dip actually results in the formation of a low pressure area. Snow would go on the awning rather than the roof and that way it would easily slide off because it's at an angle. And that would prevent the snow buildup or the snow drifts on the roof. Saving both money and manpower, Dr. Crowley's Invent Team strives to solve a common New England problem. Reporting for NHS Update, I'm Brendan Hurley. Thanks guys. Just yesterday, Dr. Crowley's Invent Team was one of 14 schools in the entire nation to receive a grant to build their invention. Stay tuned to NHS TV for updates on this story throughout the year. The Cooking Club will be having its first meeting next Wednesday, October 21st, after school in room 114. Sad students must return their field trip permission forms today. If you plan on coming, please see Ms. Roberts after school in room 351 for details. Congratulations to the students of the month, Aluni Adhikari and Daniel Carvalotti. The NHS Chess Club will be meeting after school every Wednesday in room 218. After school announcements will now be listed in the hallway monitors and sports cancellations will be posted outside the athletic office. Spanish Conversation Club meets every Tuesday after school in Mrs. Fox room. Now to Brian Curley with your sports update. They'll also be meeting immediately after school on Tuesday the 20th in the GSU Lecture Hall for any boy interested in trying out for the basketball team this season and see Mr. Cormier if you can attend. On Tuesday, the golf team lost to Denham, a strong play out of Nick Nomin and David Sad. Both girls soccer lost to Denham 7 0. Volleyball beat Denham 3 0, while swimming dive picked up their first winning against Weymouth 104 70, with Austin Reardon, Grace Gillis, and Julia Kiley sweeping the 200 freestyle. Yesterday, the girls' cross-country team lost to Wellesley 26 to 33, while well, the boys lost to Wellesley 19 to 43. With 17 runners with personal bests, led by Dan Curley, who set a new school record on the home course. Field hockey beat Denham two to nothing. While well, boys' soccer tied Denham last night. Home. For games today, field hockey has Needham at home at 3:45. Boys' soccer is away at Needham at 3:45. Girls' soccer has Needham at FM at 3:45, and girls' volleyball has Needham at home in the gym at four. That's all I have today. Now back to the desk. 
Well, that's all we have for the day. Have a great day, Mustangs.